folks. It's been a long time. I'm Van Senior, number one Razorback fan. And I haven't been doing a whole lot of videos lately, but I'm trying to get back into the game. And so what I have here today is this is a hobo fiddle cigar box guitar kit that I built. Take a quick look at her there. Yes siree. Ain't she pretty? Yeah, put a lot of work and sweat into this thing and uh anyway I could have uh should have done it in some razorback red but if I do it again I think I may do that. Anyway I have made a video showing you how I built this and at the end of the video I'll let you see how she sounds, okay? So keep watching. Hi, this is Van Senior number one Razorback fan and I ordered this hobo fiddle guitar kit from CB Giddy. Here is an overview of the kit. Looks simple enough. The first step was to mark and cut out the head stock notch. Now mama wouldn't let me have a table saw so I had to use a belt sander. The neck notches were marked and cut into the box. I used my trusted drill and Dremel tool for that. I can't say that they turned out too pretty though. The box recess on the neck was marked and cut using a belt sander. Maybe Mama will get me a table saw for Christmas, hint, hint. A fretboard was glued to the neck and I clamped her good overnight. The string tail holes were drilled, but due to my skills with the belt sander, the wood split so I was thinking about duct tape but I went with the wood glue and the two screws. The holes were marked on the headstock and then holes for the tuners were drilled. Sound holes were drilled into the box using my trusty drill. Sanding and shaping of the body and neck were done using my circular sander. I used three coats of colonial maple stain and six coats of true oil finish for the box and the neck. I just couldn't seem to find any razorback red anywhere. Decals were placed and then covered with five coats of crystal clear lacquer. Don't want the decals to fall off when you're playing. Kind of embarrassing. The brass string ferrules were tapped into place using a brass hammer and a wooden dowel. The retainer nut was screwed into place. The chrome bushings were tapped into place and the tuners were installed. Each tuner was secured with two screws. The box corners were screwed into place and the top was glued and clamped. The hobo fiddle was then strung with nylon strings, which got me thinking, if you just had a four string, you could have a ukulele. The bridge was placed 17 inches from the zero fret. The hobo fiddle was tuned using a chromatic tuner with a GDG tuning. 
This is how the finished hobo fiddle cigar box guitar looks. Ain't she pretty? I went ahead and tuned her up and let's see how she sounds, okay? As you can see, she sounds pretty good, and my next project is to take some lessons and learn how to play this baby. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hit the like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.